Today's comedy classic, Wonder Man, is doubly funny because it has Danny Kaye starring in two roles. It helps that the story was written by Arthur Sheikman, who also wrote marvelous dialogue for the Marx Brothers. Now, in Wonder Man, Danny plays a murdered nightclub performer and his mousy twin brother. Now, in a scene straight out of Hamlet, the dead man visits his twin and demands to be avenged. Then, whenever the timid brother weakens, the dearly departed intercedes to stiffen his brother's resolve. Now, since Danny has two parts, he naturally has to have two love interests. They're played by ex-Rockhead Vera Ellen and by Virginia Mayo, who recently had been promoted up from the ranks of the Goldwyn girls. Incidentally, if you think musical comedy looks easy, look closely. In the number when Vera Ellen and Danny Kaye jump into a drum, Danny mistimed his leap, slipped, and he broke his ankle. Now, it's not for nothing that performers say to each other, break a leg right before they go on. And now, Wonder Man starring Danny Kay. <laughs> and Danny Kay. And Danny Kay. He's all over in this movie. Well, you're not, you're not so easy to live with, you know. Who says so? Well, all she wants to do is please you, and what do you do? What? I mean, you yell at her, you never take her out to dinner. In some of my most successful movies, I played opposite a mule named Francis. Mm -hmm. And Virginia Mayo started out in show business pretty much the same way. When I first met her in vaudeville, she had a comedy act called Pansy the Horse. She played the horse trainer, and two guys in a horse suit played Pansy. And by the way, there used to be a gag out here that the back end of the horse was played by one of the Warner Brothers. <laughs> Virginia had the most gorgeous figure you ever saw in your life. Well, we only shared a couple of audible bills before she captivated Sam Goldwyn, who brought her to Hollywood and made her a star. Now, Wonder Man was only her second speaking role, and it was an ideal showcase. The Leo Robin, David Rose song, So In Love, was nominated for an Academy Award, and the film Special Effects won the Oscar. Oh, you may have spotted my friend Hunts Hall in the movie, playing a sailor instead of a dead-end kid. And if the actress playing Mrs. Leland Hume seems familiar, she should have. During the 60s, Natalie Schaefer played Mrs. Thurston Howell III on Gilligan's Island. Well, join me next week, and we'll see if we can spot some more up-and-comers in another comedy classic. I'll see you then.